All right, so I guess this is my little update video. Uh, I've had some news that I wanted to share with you guys for quite a while now, but uh, I haven't been able to talk about it until now. So this is what's going on. In order for me to kind of put this into context for you guys, I have to give you guys a little backstory on what these last couple months have been like for me. So as many of you guys know that, that may have been following the channel for quite a while, back in October, me and, and uh, my girlfriend at the time, Julia, got a place in San Francisco together. And uh, we were both really, really happy with that. And I think that that showed uh, on the video that I posted of the move-in day. Um, it was one of the happiest days of my life, just moving in with this girl. And then if we flash forward to December, uh, right around Christmas time, I found out um, basically the last thing that you want to find out when you're dating someone. And I'm not going to use this channel to bash anybody, but uh, it, was, it was bad. It was really bad. And we spent about a week uh, deciding for ourselves if we really wanted to work it out. And in the long run, uh, there was just no way that, that we could make it work. And needless to say, December was not the most awesome month of my life. In fact, you know, to put it bluntly, it was, it was probably probably the worst month of my life. Um, and while all this was going on, living living together and and trying to figure out how to how to make that work, and then it ultimately not working, I had been posting videos to Machinima, and the view count that it was getting was just insane. And the channel went from twenty thousand subscribers to now it's at one hundred six thousand subscribers, which is just um, uh, nuts. It's just nuts. So not even two days after I had come home from San Francisco, uh, I got a phone call from Machinima offering to fly me down and talk to them in person. And so I flew down a couple weeks ago and I got to meet Mr. Sark in person. I got to meet everybody that works there. Uh, those of you guys that are directors, I got to meet Anthony and Micah and Luke and, uh, Blue and Hollywood and uh, you know, everybody that works there, basically, there's about 55 people that work there. And then I get, I get pulled into the office by, by two guys that have, uh, you know, two guys that are up there in the totem pole. And I sit down, and, and they talk to me for about five minutes about how well my videos have been doing, and, um, how happy they were to have me on board. And at the end of that conversation, I was offered a job. <laughs> Uh, to work for Machinima. Uh, Full-time job, salary, benefits, vacation, things like that. Um, and you have to you have to also put into context that I've been waiting tables for the last six years of my life, and that was something that that was like big issue for me, which is, was the fact that, you know, I was I was living well beyond my potential, and hating every minute of it. You know, those of you guys that have waited tables before, uh, know that it sucks. <laughs> it's not a fun job. And the, the basis of that job is you show up and you do what somebody tells you to do. I mean, you do what your boss tells you to do, and if you don't, you get fucking yelled at. And, uh, you do what your guest wants you to do, and if you don't, you'll get fucking yelled at, and... Now I find myself in a position where I'm sitting in front of two guys saying that uh, what I'm doing is working and they want me to keep doing that and keep being creative and having fun and and one of the things that, that I'm going to be doing uh, with that company is I'm going to be going to different events like PAX in, in, in March. That's in Boston and they're going to fly me out to Boston and I'm going to go there with Mr. Sark and cover that event and talk about uh, all the cool first person shooters that are coming out and when E3 comes I'm going to be going to that and uh, being on camera and covering that event too and talking about cool different uh, first person shooters that are coming out I mean it's it's such a dream job it's basically a dream job and I mean I've been watching shows like 1UP I don't know if, if you guys go to that website it's a really awesome gaming website but I've been watching shows like 1UP years uh, I guess that was a podcast but uh, one, one up was their web show. It's like 30 minutes long, and and uh, you know they're they're doing the things that this that that, that this company wants me to do, which is going to these events, covering them, talking to publishers, talk, talking to the developers, talking about games, just having fun. And I mean it's work, obviously, but 
it's a dream. Uh, I, I've been a gamer my whole life, and gaming has has been something that has like consistently made me excited, just as excited today as I was when I was eight years old, opening up a, a Super Nintendo on Christmas, and I, I. I looked at the guys that went up, and I looked at the guys at IGN, and I thought, man, if only, you know, like, if only I could ever do something like that for a living, and here I am. And I wanted to post this video right now to let you guys know what's going on, and to say that I am so grateful for all the support that I have gotten. Uh, when I bought that capture card, when I first bought that capture card, I, I don't even have enough money in my account to, to buy it, and I... I deliberately overdrew my account because I was really anxious to get it and like just uh, just start making videos right away because the idea of it really really excited me and um, to go from that you know is just to this is and the juxtaposition in terms of the timing you know going from the worst month of my life and, and two days later getting this bombshell dropped on me that they want to fly me down to LA and talk to me in person about about offering me a job this whole month has just been like you know I haven't really I haven't really had a had a moment to really I mean well now I do but it's really difficult for it to set in like it's not really quite real just yet that this is what's happening and um it is real. I'm moving down to LA on February 17th. I'm going to be working in Hollywood uh, and I'm going to be living in LA. It's a job that I've always wanted that I've never honestly thought that I was that I was going to get. I mean, what did I do? I, I made videos, occasionally said some funny things, and so for, for whatever reason you guys decided to, to show up and support the channel and then pretty much turn it into the biggest Call of Duty channel on YouTube. But it's not just a Call of Duty channel. Like I, I, I spent more and more time kind of incorporating me and my personal life and my own personality into this channel. And I've had a lot of fun doing it. And I have a lot of people ask me, how did you, how did you get to the point where you're at in terms of having such a big channel? And I would just tell you, have fun, be yourself, and and that's it. You know, like there's, you know, every once in a while I leave a comment like calling somebody a douchebag if they're acting like a douchebag. But for the most part, I just have fun and. Um, I see some people, you know, I see some people in the comments saying that I've, I've sold out and that I've got a big ego now. And I really don't feel like I, I do. You know, if you ask my friends in real life, if you ask uh, my friends that I've been playing with on Xbox, I'm still the same guy that I was like a year and a half ago. And I'm, I never felt like a sense of entitlement to get to the point where I'm at now, where I'm getting offered a dream job. It just kind of happened, and I'm in shock right now. I'm in shock. So as far as this channel goes, I really, I really don't know what's going to happen with this channel. Um, for now, all my well, once I move down there, all my all my time and energy is going to be focused on on my job there and, and making really cool content. And I've already got some like really awesome ideas for shows and, and uh, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really really looking forward to this job. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I can't I can't even begin to thank you guys enough for for what you have done for me and. Wish me luck.